Hi you guys, welcome in and welcome back. I am Stay Stace. Thanks so much for watching today. I am ready to package up my butterfly booster entry and roll to 500 subscribers for Jessica who is Jessica's Cards and Crafts here on YouTube. She is hosting her very first challenge and it's called the Butterfly Booster Challenge. The deadline to enter this is August the 15th. You guys, she has already received some amazing entries. Everybody has just went above and beyond and it is so fun to see all of the creativity. All Jessica wanted to enter her challenge was a wand or a memory dex card three butterfly embellishments, and a small trinket box. Okay, so this is what I made for her. Let's go through it. Here are my stack boxes, and this has been a project wish list item for me for a while. I've been wanting to make this, and I finally had the time and the opportunity to put this together. I think that it turned out so cute. I did follow a YouTube tutorial to make this. So I have that linked in the description box. I did use the Gingham Garden paper collection throughout. Starting with this top layer, I was totally inspired by Steffi Reed on Instagram to make this really cute like folded book embellishment. And then I used my puffy stickers, die cuts, wooden pieces, chipboard pieces, like all of the things to put that together. I also made this little flower. I have another little die cut in the background. Yeah. And I have all of this on a layer of the snowy mesh tool. And I also have one of those little golden book corners here on this corner. And yeah, it's just so dainty and delicate. I love it. Oh, I also put like a little piece of lace right here. Just really, really cute. It says the story. Going on to the next tier, I made these cute little layered butterflies on my Cricut. So I have a few of them on the cluster right here. I also have this cute little shaker butterfly and I have some chipboard pieces glued there. I have a little piece of lace down here, wooden pieces, a scrabble tile, a little burlap heart here. I did go in with my nouveau drops and I have like dots of white here, puffy stickers, a pink vine, just a good sample of the things that I have in my collection. I just really loved pulling everything out and tying it together happily ever after was another little sticker that I had in my stash I made these cute little rolled flowers and I have one here and then one here so there is a lot of detail here and I absolutely love it well all of this is functional so on the top I have this cute little yellow seam binding here this top part lifts up and I have two little rosettes in here here and she can definitely embellish those further and then I also have some little butterflies already packaged for her some of those little shaker butterflies now I know she has this die but I think it's really cool when somebody else does the shaker for you so yeah I'm gifting her those and these are my embellishments I've also been making this little butterfly strip embellishment it's just three little butterflies and basically they're just kind of nested in between each other and I did a zigzag stitch down the center. So this is what they look like. They turned out really, really cute. And I did a few of those. And even the the butterfly die that I had already had some faux stitching in it as well, which really brought more interest. So I think that those are super, super cute. So I'm just packaging those up to send to Jessica. I just made this cute little belly band for the bag. And that's how that looks really cute. Okay, so that is the first box. In the second box, I have this little door knocker bread. And so you can pull this out and let's just take out the whole drawer. So that's what that draw looks like. And in here, I have my little trinket box. I just used a little small box that I had in my stash. And I decorated the top with a die cut, some little gold mesh. I have another little jagged edge die cut here. And it has butterflies on this paper, but I totally covered it up. I made this cute little butterfly and added some Nouveau drops to it. I made this cute little ruffle here and this little banner. And I had some sentiments in my stash that I made on my Cricut that says sweet. And also this cute little bow with the little diamond in the center and I think that that turned out nice I won't go through all of these little trinkets oh I did make her a couple of buttons though with my button maker that I got from Timu so that's one 
that's too and I think there's another button in here somewhere but yeah just all kind of little trinkets definitely pop on over to her channel I'm sure she may go through the rest of this I also just got in this ribbon rosette die, which I have been wanting. So super, super cute. And then this heart rosette is actually an eye crafter die. And I thought that it just came together so, so cute. So this is the first one that I did. And then I made Jessica one here. So this is the ribbon rosette. And I was inspired to make this one by Tiffany. I think that it turned out super, super cute. Again, using papers from the collection. I have a little butterfly here. I think this is a Spellbinders butterfly, if I'm not mistaken. And then I have a layer of lace of this gold trim. And I love this gold trim. I received this as a gift, you guys. Look how beautiful that is. So I have been cutting and snipping little pieces off of that. I have a little banner strip in the background, then a little ruffle, then a puffy sticker that says you are the best and also a little nouveau drop here. And I think that that turned out super, super cute. So I'm giving that to her. I also had these little picks in my stash with the flower and the butterfly and I just tied those together with a bow to sit right here in this box. Okay, this is the last box and I have that same little hardware on here and it slides out this way. And in here, I just have a Felt Friends ornament kit with a little butterfly. I got this from Hyvie Lavi and it has everything she needs to make this cute little butterfly. So, so cute. And this is my little fluttering stack book project with all of these cute little butterflies and flowers and things. I think that turned out so well. Okay, this is the next little project that I made for her. Now, this is called the Kite Mini Album. And I got this from Chaos Craft over on AliExpress, I believe. So I looked and looked and looked to see if anybody had actually made this die an album, but I didn't see anybody actually making it an album. Everybody made it like a embellishment and then stopped. Now I may be wrong, but I didn't see any. Like, and I know that you can probably put some jump rings or some binder rings in these little lacy holes and it will flip fine. But I wanted to do something a little different. So I went ahead on and made the shaker. Look Up is a die that came with this little die set. Again, I used one of my little butterflies that I made on my Cricut. This is one of the little road roses that I made. I have some little die cuts back here. I have a little die cut right here, a puffy sticker, Nouveau drops on here. This little button with the butterfly on it actually came with the Gingham Garden collection. Um, I have a little piece of snowy mesh tool back here. So this is how I decided to make my album. It's like an accordion style album. And I just have like little tickets in all of the pockets. So, so in this first pocket, I just made this cute little embellishment that says smile. I love that so, so much. That turned out super, super cute. And you can also see the word smile kind of peeking over the kite. So I thought that was really cute. And then let's see in here, I made a couple of other little small embellishments super cute just, just layered up little die cuts have this cute little rosette with a puffy butterfly i have this simple cute little tag i think that is so adorable and then in the last pocket i have another little die cut embellishment rectangular die cut embellishment so to make the actual pockets that go in between here, I just made a little template. First of all, I die cut out this little stitch kite piece from the die set. So you can see that right there. And then I made myself a little template. I needed a quarter of an inch on this side and this side. And then I mitered those edges and I used my little scoreboard to do that. And then once I had my template, it was super, super easy. So I just used a piece of paper that was four and a half inches by three and five eighth inches and just cut around my template. And then I took two of these, folded these little flaps in and glued them to another one of these and then glued them together like that. So really, really cute. Love the way that that turned out. Also, that die did not come with a kite string, but I wanted a die cut out kite string. So what I did to die cut out my kite string was took a regular sheet of paper and a thick Sharpie marker and I just drew a wiggly line and made sure that it just had the right width and height for this size kite. And once I was satisfied with my little wiggly line, 
I scanned it with my brother's scanning cut in different pieces of paper in the gold and the pink. I did it several times so that it could be a little sturdy and I ended up with my own little die cut out kite string and I actually love that and that's going to be one of a kind. But these little bows were included in the die set and I just added little sequins for my sequins mix, some butterflies and cup sequins onto that and yeah. That is my little kite. I think that it turned out super, super cute. And I'll definitely make this again. Oh, it looks like I have an extra one of those right here. So how fun. I also made Jessica a super, super chunky wand. I love the way that this turned out. I have been wanting to use this greenhouse die that I had in my stash, I believe from Timu, for quite some time. And I was able to fit this entire greenhouse onto the wand. And this is a pretty large greenhouse as well. But I even used my wire jig to make a little butterfly here. And yeah, I even wrapped some wire around the straw. I won't go too much in detail on this because I will have another video actually putting one together. I loved her wand so much. I wanted to make a wand for myself as well. And so I have a complete video on how I put my wand together. So definitely come back and watch that. But how cute. And then you guys know that I made the flower wand. Well, you guys, here is the butterfly wand. And I think that it turned out super cute. Again, I used those little butterflies that I cut out on my Cricut. And I really just have them layered in different ways. And I thought that that just turned out super, super cute. I also added this cute little double bow here. And also some cute little trims to finish that off. And a pom-pom on the center. And you guys, this is all on a straw and in a little baggie. How cute. So before we had the flower wand, and I've seen a few of your projects already using that flower wand idea. And thank you guys for shouting me out. I really appreciate that. And now we have the butterfly wand. I think it is just super, super cute. That So I'm sending that to her as well. And then this is the last little thing. I just wanted to make these cute little paperclip embellishments. And so I made three of the embellishments and I added like little butterflies to them. Cute. And then I just needed some kind of cute little way to package them. I made this entire little pocket on a YouTube short, which I will have linked. And then I made this cute little cluster to go on the bottom of it and added this cute little tassel. That's the back side. And yeah, I think that turned out super, super cute. Okay, so these are all of the projects that I am sending to Jessica. I hope that Jessica likes it. I hope that maybe you got a little inspiration as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.